Hi there, Montessori leaders. I'm Camilla Campuzano, the community manager of Montessori Thrive and Nido Marketing. Welcome to the Nido Marketing YouTube channel where every week I make videos to help Montessori school leaders market their schools, grow their enrollment, and find a sense of community and support online. In this week's video, I'm gonna be focusing on photography versus stock photo imagery. Which one should you be using for your Montessori school website and other marketing materials? Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a deep dive and see which one will work best to market your school. First, let's discuss stock photos and why they might not be the best option if you're choosing to market your Montessori school. Firstly, stock photos can be really generic and they can feel disconnected from your school and community. Oftentimes when we're looking at stock photos, especially in the early childhood education space, they might be disconnected from Montessori in general, and they just feel more appropriate for maybe a preschool or daycare than they do an actual Montessori program. Another issue that we can face here is that other websites can be using them. Maybe a local competitor is using similar stock photo imagery or the same images. And if parents are running into the same imagery, it can really cause distrust and it makes your school really kind of fall into the background of their mind. They're going to go with the schools that feel more authentic, that they can connect with on a deeper level. Oftentimes nowadays, people can really pick up when something is a stock photo they can see that it's a little bit staged, it doesn't feel quite right, something about it is inauthentic, and people can usually sense this. Um, and stock photo images are not always free, so you might actually have to be paying to use them. Oftentimes the options that are free are very limited or not quite what you're looking for. So it's not always the best choice to go with stock photos for your school website, for your social media, or for your marketing assets. Here are just some examples of what we look for um, in terms of stock photo imagery, like what you want to be avoiding. You can see here, it just doesn't feel quite Montessori. A lot of the imagery is maybe more appropriate for a daycare. Also, a lot of it just feels very staged. Doesn't really say a lot about a Montessori program or a Montessori classroom or an environment. It just doesn't really speak to what your Montessori may be trying to deliver. Um, and again, they feel a little bit generic. I might be able to find the same images on several school websites. Something about it is disconnecting to me as a parent coming to Bazir website. If I'm looking at these images, I feel like, is that really their school? Something about it just isn't quite right. It just doesn't feel like it's telling a story that needs to be told. A couple of stock photo alternatives. Um, you know, we understand that not every school might be able to get a photographer to come in and take those images. It can be quite costly at times to hire a photographer and build up a, li a library of um, images that you can use specifically for your school. So you can always opt for Montessori specific imagery when you're looking at stock photos. There are ways to do this. We at Nino Marketing have our own stock photo library that we have um, built up over the years. Those of you who are subscribed to our content service have access to this um, stock photo library. It's a great resource. If you are one of our clients for content, you can use that stock photo library. All of the images are Montessori appropriate. They are for photographs of a classroom environment in the Montessori space, materials, children working, children working with guides, but all within a Montessori space. So this could be a good alternative if you don't want to hire a photographer just yet. You can also be a little bit more selective when it comes to looking through stock photo um, images. It can be a little bit time consuming to try to find the right ones that are free and Montessori relevant. There's usually not a great amount to pick from, but if you're desperate for some imagery for your website, you can still do that. You can also take some good quality photos on your smartphone and your classrooms. Um, I always say, try to find someone in your staff who has you know, the best camera on their phone and see if they can go around and take some pictures of the material, uh, just some day-to-day -day things that are happening in the classroom, maybe your outdoor play area um, or students at work. You can use this imagery. It might not be as great as having someone come in with a professional camera and coming in and taking those right angles, but it can still be effective. And I think in my opinion, can oftentimes be so much more impactful than using very generic stock photo imagery on your website and socials. 
Um, here's just a little look at the Montessori stock photo library that Nino Marketing has. It's all categorized, so it's very easy for our clients to go in and use. We have multiple images taken over years, and um, yeah, it's just a great resource. You can go in and you'll find images of Montessori classroom, Montessori shelves, uh, students working, um, and different age groups as well. So it's really a great resource, but you can tell the images are just a little bit more authentic and relevant to the Montessori space. Another option is using websites like Pexels, Shutterstock, and iStock, and really trying to filter through all of the content they have to find ones that are really, really true to Montessori. Here's an example of um, a little picture that I took from Pexels, me searching through the Montessori content. Some of it might be relevant. You could use this for maybe publishing blogs. Um, you can use this imagery for free. Of course, you could, there are some that are gonna be behind a paywall if you wanna utilize them on your website or your marketing materials but they have a, a small variety of Montessori relevant ones that you can use for free. So that is an option, but definitely be more selective and opt for the photos that feel a little bit more authentic, that don't look so staged and that feel true to Montessori. Ultimately, the best option for using imagery when marketing your school is to use your own photography. There are so many reasons why using your own photos is really the best. First and foremost, when you are using your own photography, the photos fully belong to your school and you can use them as needed. So you can use them on your website, in your blog, on your social media, um, and you can use these photos for years to come because usually, you know, even if that child may be 15 now, that picture of them when they were three working can be used over and over again. It's a beautiful image and you can use it. The parents are not gonna know that that child is now 15 and grown up. So it's great to um, invest in good photography and then you can use that over and over again. It also um, accurately portrays your community, your environments and your students. Parents are actually seeing what it would be like for their child to attend your school. They're seeing your classrooms. It builds trust, it differentiates you from other schools. Um, and ultimately, it's going to resonate the most with your prospective families, because if you're showing images of your school and a parent really falls in love with what they see, they come in for a tour and they say that that's actually what their child is going to be experiencing, it really does set them over the top um, and they might be the ones who are reaching out for enrollment in the future. Great photography ultimately can make you stand out and feel more authentic. Um, if you're looking for a great Montessori photography service, I highly recommend our own service here at Needle Marketing where you can um, reach out to us. We'll send a photographer to your school to take many, many pictures of your school um, based on your needs, your wants, your vision, and they will build a stock photo library of your own photography that you own. And you can go in and use that imagery whenever you need, whether it's for your website, socials, brochures, or whatever it is that you need. Um, if you want to learn more about our photography service, the link is in the description to this video, so I recommend you check that out. Here are just some more examples of some imagery that I think resonates so much more with the prospective family that is going to be ideal for your Montessori school. As you can see, it just feels a little bit more authentic than those stock photo images we saw earlier. You can see the children that work in a Montessori space, the materials, which are so unique um, here in Montessori. The environments, which are all of natural resources, you see the, the shelves full of our materials, children in deep work. Um, so it just feels a little bit more like it's telling a story. It's more captivating and parents can see um, exactly what their child is going to be experiencing in your classrooms versus when they look at those stock photo images. As you see here, we're on one of our clients' website. This is Northern Montessori School from Houston, Texas. Um, we have done their website and they also have been using images from our stock photo library as well as some of their own imagery. And as you can see, the look and feel of the website is very authentic and true to Montessori and the community they serve. Here you can see a lot of imagery that is relevant specifically to Montessori. All of the work and imagery you'll see is based in Montessori, um, and it feels like it's going to speak to their target audience. When you click on different pages, again, you'll see imagery from their own school, and you'll see a lot of imagery um, just of Montessori in general. 
This makes the website feel so much more authentic. Parents can take a look into what daily life in the school is. The school can also use these images time and time again for whatever they may need. So it's just great and so much more authentic when you're using imagery that doesn't feel like those very um, generic stock photo images of preschools or daycares or just child early childhood programs. And instead, you take the time to curate your content and to make sure that all of the imagery is representative of your Montessori school. I hope that you find this video helpful and I hope that you do start using your own photography when it comes to marketing your Montessori school or at least using stock photo imagery that you have access to that is Montessori relevant and that shows Montessori environments, children concentrating on Montessori materials and work because it's so valuable to marketing your school and reaching the right prospective families as well. If you need help and support when it comes to Montessori photography or content, you can definitely check out our services at Nina Marketing. We specialize in both. So with our Montessori content package, we actually have access to a stock photo library of all Montessori relevant images. So if you don't wanna yet invest in photography of your own or don't have the resources to do so, you can access our stock photo library with our content service. It's a great library. There's loads of Montessori environments, materials, um, children working, children working with guides, and all of this you can use on your website, your social media, and your promotional materials as well. Um, we also offer a Montessori photography service, which is great. It's a one-time service, so uh, we'll fly out a Montessori photographer to your school where they will you know, take photographs based on your direction. They'll build out a personal library for your school so you can use this for years to come. It's definitely worth the investment. You can use these images over and over again on your school website, on your social media platforms, on your blogs. So it really does um, pay back the investment and it's well worth it to have those images in your marketing so definitely something to consider. If you have any questions or comments about using imagery in your marketing, please drop those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your insights. I'll be back next week with another Montessori marketing video. Until then, take care.